Hey, what's going on guys? How are you doing? Welcome to the second episode on the Node.js series of explaining Node.js and the modules. So in, the, in this actual tutorial, we are going to explain the modules and why you need to use them in your application and why actually they are very, very important thing to use and what is actually an NPM. So NPM is the Node package or Node Node.js modules package manager. So it's like a package managers that will allow you to find packages and install them directly into your Node.js application or repository. So here if you go to uh, npm.js.com you can find packages easily. You can call them packages or modules, packages for bigger more scalable things and modules for smaller ones but they are the same actually thing so you can find packages for example there's the request package in here or the request module which actually allow you to do is a simplified http request so you can just send requests from your application into an http server out there and get responses very easily so it's a wrapper into the http API it may, gonna make your life easier for sending HTTP requests and receiving responses in here and a, a lot of other things you can use right out of the box in here so let me just briefly explain how modules work and how you can use them on your like application in here I have main.js file in here and I want to create another file in here to represent how things actually work so let me just I don't know modules or my mods for example like my modules in here that you shouldn't call this something in English so let me just put that in the main directory so in here I'm gonna create another file and uh, I don't know let's call this utils.js so like let's say this has the needed functions or the tools functions that I'm going to use on my application so just a spare of functions so actually how modules work you're going to use the require the require function or the require method so when you put the name of module node.js is going to go and find that into the file system then you're going to grab everything into that file and just going to put it into your under your memory or your ram and whenever you just need to call a function or something it's just going to go to the ram grab the function and let you execute that right out of the box in very very easy and simplified way so this is how actually the require if you have been hearing about if you don't so require just use to import modules even modules that are installed from the npm so as i've said all you do is declare a variable in here so let's say uh, me for example so islam penuous and i don't know that's another one uh let's like declare a function gets full name and this function is going to return my name so how can i access that name from uh, from another like from the main JS. So how can I require this? How can I make this file a modular and I can require it to the main JS so you can use this function get full name and get get over it. So all you do is use the export keyword from the Node.js specific thing. So from like every module on Node.js and object, so you do that to export things. So export dot say and you put the name. So let's say get full name and it's gonna equals this function and whenever we're gonna call or require this into the main.js we can use this right out of the box so this like very very simple simplify thing uh, I don't know let me just use this so we can require that require and make sure it's under the current directory I'm gonna put utils in here and that I'm gonna require so let's utils so whenever we want to call this function so all we do is just go there down here let me just console.log uh, my name and for example we put my name and put utils dot get full name as i've said this will return the full name that is stored in the other file we can also use esx import for some of you say like why not use the ESX export and import keywords rather than using that this is like more efficient thing and more Node.js compatible thing so just use it for Node.js modules and things like this now if you execute that and we put like node and we put main.js this should Prince, my name is Islam Pinuous, as I, as I've said, and as you can see actually here, and we don't have a name here defined, so defined into the utils, but we're requiring it, then we get the get full name. So 
whenever you want to export something to use it on another file or another module or something like that use the export keyword and the get full name then assign the the name you want of your function or your class or your variable then assign it to to the the variable or the value you want to export over here and it's gonna just work absolutely fine in here everything is very simplified in here as i've said also another thing you can use the ripple that we have been talking about so just put node and we can just examine how things like works in here so we all we do is just let me use the require function and let's say we are going to require the utils again so utils and let me just put this like in the current directory and the, what so to actually show what the require returns in here so what does the the require thing is going to return in here just going to return an object so if you execute that we get a, an object and it only has a get full name function and that function so uh, since we are exporting that so what requires going to go ahead and look into that utils and find any export function or into the exports objects and that assign it or return it in, in that particular object that's why we're getting the get full name and the the type of that is a function so this is all what require does uh, on, on the specific modules if you have been using node.js for now so require just gonna go ahead require and use the export functions in here and I'm gonna give you that specific things so you can use that export function to export anything any type of data from one module to another or you can use it just in your application in here as i've said it's very very efficient and very easy to use also the other thing if you might be wondering how you can install modules that already be defined so the modules from on the npm and you can also just go ahead and search for them let's say express and express is out the the framework that will allow you to create servers backend servers using javascript and node.js and actually this is like a very very popular thing and it's very very used nowadays so you can just all you do is npm install then put the modular name in here so let's say the request since it's just minimalist sync and the other one we're going to explain is just the save and the save dev what are the differences between those so the save flag is just going to save it as a major dependency which means when you finish with the application so you want to deploy it into your service this is a web application so you want to deploy it from your local development environments into your uh, distributed or cloud develop development server or development environment so you wanna or your production server actually so you want to deploy it from local machine into the other one all you do is just deploy the or take all the files it's not just gonna work like this because we are saving in here when we put we're gonna save two different things two different type of dependencies we're gonna save the dependencies normal dependencies and the dev dependencies and the dev dependencies are only available on your local machine so whenever you deploy it it's not going to be available into the production server but for when we just use the save flag without the dash dev this is gonna be available or gonna be deployed into the actual server so things like the request thing so in it must be de deployed so let's say for example you are going to use webpack it's just gonna be available for development because it's gonna compile files on your machine and, and that's it so it's not gonna be using the production server express just gonna be used on your uh, or it's just gonna use on the production server just use the save one so since request so we use the save flag npm install request and now just start gonna just do the request and start looking for our package and then installing it and you're gonna find like a folder in here it's just gonna appear in a second in here it's called node modules which going to hold everything as I've said node modules in here all the modules are needed also the modules how I like the download from other repositories if your machine works with like a couple of repositories or multiple repositories so you're gonna find all the modules in here from the cache and actually everything's gonna be set up in here also the standard modules not only the one you download the standard one like the file systems how you interact the file system that will allow you to interact with files a lot of other things but all of them gonna be stored into the node modules on your root directory so as simple as that you can use and specifically install modules on your application in a very very simple in a minimalistic way so the, i guess the pretty much guys 
that was very very quick tutorial just explaining more how modules work and how actually require works and how you can export things between or export functions or data types from one module to another in a very simple and a minimalistic way so thank you guys for watching as you can I will catch you in the next one we're actually going to do the express server and just show you a very quick demo or a very quick example of, of how you can use Node.js for creating a web server on your local machine so as I've said I will catch you in the next one